How oh, do? Time for another review, and it's Friday challenge time. We've made it to the end of another week, so well done, everybody. Um, I'd just like to, before I get into the Friday challenge, just thank everybody because the channel's been really, really busy this week. Since the new Tesco beers, or I man when I managed to buy them in Tesco the week last Thursday, the channel's been really, really busy. Lots of new faces, lots of comments, lots of interacting, and it's been really good. So thank you. Um, hello to all the new people. My name's Greg. Um, I hope you stick around. And um, to everyone who's been with us in the past, um, thanks for sticking with us. Um, it's all greatly appreciated. So for those that are new to the channel, um, every Friday we do a thing called Friday Challenge. This is the time of the week where you put in the comments what you want me to review. I've got a Friday Challenge playlist so you can see all my old um, beers that I've reviewed previously. And I'll, I'll go out and get whatever alcohol you want me to review. So um, I think this is week 40 now. This week's challenge is set by Dev X. He asked me a month ago, and apologies if I've got your uh, username wrong there, mate. Um, he asked me to do one, and this is a first for Friday Challenge because it's a drink that I hadn't heard of, and I was in B&M this week, and I happened to see it. So we are reviewing... <coughs> Free Hammers Apple Cider. It's coming in at 7.5% in a two and a half litre plastic bottle. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing this review because one, it's something that I've just never heard of. So normally when people make a challenge, at least I've heard of it, whether I've had it before doesn't really matter, but this I've never heard of. I'm daunted by it. I'm not, uh, I do like a cider, but two and a half litres of seven and a half percent cider I find just the sheer size of that bottle just a little bit dark and it was a struggle to even get it in the fridge um, so we'll get this out and we'll see um, see how it is so it's from Ash Ashton Manor Cider in Tiverton and it says a deliciously refreshing apple cider inspired by our cider makers visit to the nearby village of Three Hammers close to our home in Tiverton uh, there's 18.8 UK units in that, and that's a sharing pack. But being in lockdown, I think I'm going to struggle to find folk to share it with. Oh, I've got a real vinegary whiff there as I was uh, opening it. Great. for this one but we'll see and it's going everywhere right it's really really hissing at me but the head's rapidly going so colour very very clear I can see my beautiful face in the reflection and uh, I've got a steady carbonation going up I'm going to say it's a a very very pale straw colour very very clear though. right let's get the nose it's it's got like a musty aroma there is an apple in there but it's like a it's like a musty very musty up front yeah musty apples I would say it smells like it's going to be a a medium to a medium dry but um we'll find out when we'll dive in so cheers everybody do you want to know that's not bad um that ain't bad it's I would have said it's a medium, a medium cider. Um, there is medium to sweet. I, I thought it was going to be dry on the nose, but um, I'll go with medium sweet. Um, 
I'm getting the apples, but even though it was aggressively carved as I was pouring it, it feels the carbonation feels really, really light and soft on it. Um, the apple flavour in it is quite um, toned down. I wouldn't say it's a massive apple flavour, but it is there. Um, but I would say it's actually really, really easy drinking for the cider, and the 7.5% strength is deceptively hidden. There is a slight, a slight warmth as it's as it's going down, but I'll, honestly, it's, it tastes like it's like a strong bowl, you know, a four and a half percent cider. It's dangerous. I could see for getting absolutely trolled on this. You know, I'm looking at that in the plastic bottle, and I'm thinking it's you know, it's it's tramp park bench um, peeve, and it's like. It's not bad. I, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it again, probably because of the sheer size. I wouldn't want two and a half liters of it. Um, but I have to say, as a one-off, it ain't bad. Um, I've drunk far worse on the channel. Um, I said it was gently carved, and it feels gently carved in the mouth. But I is. I am feeling like the need to burp a lot. So um, afterwards. Well, that's a decent cider, so I'll add that to my cider playlist, I'll add that to my b &M playlist, and I'll add that to my Friday challenge playlist, so keep the challenges coming, fire in the comments what you um, would like me to do, so thanks for watching, and on to the next one, cheers.